so hey guys welcome back to another video and on today's video we're going to be a little bit casual we're going to be answering most of your questions on the channel and unfortunately i didn't get any questions from my instagram story so guys that's probably because you're not following me on instagram so if you haven't been following me on instagram yet do follow me at miss k chris on this video we're gonna answer 10 questions that you have asked me on my channel we're going to answer that today so let's go ahead and let's get started so today you saw me earlier i was just having my coffee and i'm actually preparing this tags that i'm going to use on my new product i'm going to launch something new so watch out for that guys if you don't know yet the merch that we have here on the channel is my book the ready for takeoff book and i'm going to launch something new that you might like if you like to travel and things like that so watch out for that and also if you like things that will keep you hopeful so the first question that i got Yes, from Kajal Kajal. Kajal asked, may I ask if they consider married with years of cabin crew experience? May we know if the recruiter are international or from agency? Thank you and stay safe. I think this is a question from our latest Qatar Airways interview video. It's the one with my friend who's already a Qatar Airways cabin crew and she was giving tips. This is a question there. So she actually is also an ex-cabin crew and she got hired because the demand is high for cabin crew right now, especially if they are having a FIFA event in Qatar. So that smells like opportunity for you guys. Especially, uh, she told me on that video that most of them who got hired on that batch are all ex-cabin crew. So actually, it doesn't matter if you're married or not married, Qatar Airways will hire you. And the only thing they want you to do is stay the same civil status for the next five years because of the legalities of the country of Qatar. So that means if you are already married, then okay, you're, there's no problem. You can apply and go ahead and try your luck Qatar Airways and usually the gathering is organized by an agency but the people who will interview are from the company itself if that's your question may we know if recruiter are international or the agency so that's her question so the agency will organize the event the recruiter will go and do the interviews for you guys I hope that clears out anything that you have in mind Kajal and good luck on your applications the next question that we have is what if you don't look obese but your BMI is and you're very healthy. Actually, BMI is not a really big deal for some airlines. It's only a big deal for Saudi if you're hiring for Saudi. Speaking of, I do have a video of tips for people who want to apply for Saudi. And just years ago, they were hiring here in the Philippines. And yeah, those were my tips for you. And with Saudi, you can't enter the door if your BMI is not right, whether if you look like it or not, doesn't matter. But for other airlines, they don't even ask for your BMI so just go ahead and try your luck I do have a friend who is the opposite of this situation right here so she looks big but her BMI is right and she got the job and she's actually still flying right now so yeah she actually got the job before I did <laughs> so yeah the power girl power so I hope that answers your question her name is living in the moment I don't know if it's a he or her we have another question from Sammy Lo she asked, Hi Miss K. Chris, how can we answer questions such as, are you willing to serve alcohol on board? Actually, I answered this question on the comments on the videos because it's such a good question. I wanted to include it here in the Q&A video because most of the time they would ask you for especially if you're going for an international cabin crew position they will ask situational questions like this Saudia loves to ask questions like this so they would ask you are you comfortable serving alcohol the thing is a little context guys most of them will ask you like this because especially if you're a muslim because if you are a muslim you're not allowed to touch alcohol it's not allowed in your religion so for muslim cabin crews they have 
to like ask for a waiver or something like that if they're okay with touching alcohol because it's part of the job what will happen if you're a muslim and you're a cabin crew and then there's first class you have to serve champagne and then all that work if you are not going to serve the champagne because you're not allowed to touch it then all that work will go to the other cabin crew and that's a lot of hassle guys for your cabin crew team members so they're just trying to clear the air on it basically you have to say yes i'm willing to serve alcohol if you want to get the job because that is what makes sense guys will they hire somebody who will be a burden to the team of course not they would hire somebody who will be willing to take one for the team let's say something like that yes <laughs> so guys if you're wondering when there are like nice background <laughs> it's my kids they're here with me in our room right now so we are filming with the kids <laughs> so if you want to see my kids i do have a family channel it's more of a filipino language there i don't do subtitles there so it's more of like a casual me like just like this this is casual me <laughs> all right so if you want to follow me there go ahead and follow our adventures we recently moved to Baguio City, it's one of the best cities here in the Philippines. And yeah, I'm documenting our journey in that channel and also the behind the scenes of my life. After flying for six years, what am I doing now? Speaking of that, I do have this new tags right here because I'm currently, supposedly while filming this video, I'm gonna work and put this on the items that I'm gonna sell on my new business <laughs> venture. Okay, before I go ahead and get the items and fix these tags, let's go ahead and let's take another question. This question is from Polo Golo. Without doing cabin crew course, is it possible to go for interview? Please reply, ma'am. So, Polo, here is your reply. Yes, you can still be a cabin crew even if you didn't go through a cabin crew course. Yes, it's not a requirement for a cabin crew member to finish tourism or any cabin crew course for that matter. The only requirement is that you pass the interview. So pass the interview process, be able to pass the medicals and pass the training. And then that's the time that you become a cabin crew. You don't have to have a special master class. You don't have to have a special degree. Any degree will do as long as they see that your personality is fit for the role. So while we're doing this video, I thought that I will do multitasking by fixing my inventory. So these past few days, I have been doing some artwork, something like this. This is a soy wax and I am planning to do one inspired by you guys scented candle for cabin crew wannabes or cabin crew aspirants who wanted to manifest <laughs> traveling and things like that but that's a different line so this is my decorative line I don't have that right now because I have to test the scents when I am going to doing that but now I'm just gonna put the tag on my decorative you know this is like aesthetic candle which is I'm going to open up in my shop and speaking of my shop I'm really excited because I wanted to make illustrations for you guys that are just saying future cabin crew or like illustrations of flight attendants because for me that was what really helped me before when I was trying to manifest the job oh doesn't this look good in another video maybe I will explore my shop with you guys but for now we're going to answer one more question as I am trying one more question as I am trying to do work here guys so one question here is from Trixie Bumaya Awit and she is asking in English what she's asking is is it okay if I have scars on my hands so it really depends on what type of scar you have and where in your hands it is located because Trixie the cabin crew job is a little bit particular because they're serving food right so they don't want any scars here on the hands somewhere visible it has to look like light enough so it won't be mistaken as something that is on the food or something like that so they want to have like really nice hands and arms that's why they check it during the interview you have to show your hands like this 
your elbows yeah so there's no scars there i don't know it's just an old school way of doing it i guess the flight attendant um, interviews but yeah it really depends how dark is your scar and where is the location is it hidden or is it like really showing right there in your head what do you think guys does it look nice Oh, now it looks nice. I'm sure you guys have lots of comments. Okay, on our latest video, we have a new question from Vicky Vlogs. So Vicky Vlogs is asking, Hey sis, my application status says invited for meet and greet but I haven't received my email. Yet most of my friends have received the invitation email. So does this mean I have been rejected or do I keep on waiting? Thank you. Vicky, I would suggest that you check your spam mail. Maybe it went to spam. And also, please do get in touch with them if you could because you might miss the opportunity there might be a mix-up or something just send a message an email hey i see my status is invited but i actually haven't received an invitation letter is there a mix-up here could you help me clarify it or something that's what i would suggest because i wouldn't want you to miss this opportunity and so i'm gonna reply to her right now guys while i'm filming because she might miss the opportunity and sayang naman diba I hope you get the job, Vicky. Thank you for commenting and watching my videos. And I really hope that you do get invited. And good luck on that. That wraps up all our questions for this episode. I really enjoyed doing this and interacting with you guys. So next month, I'm going to do another Q&A video. Watch out my Instagram post where I'm going to be asking in the stories for your question. And I will definitely prioritize those ones uh, on our next Q&A video. So see you on Instagram. And also, <laughs> next video, next Friday is going to be about senior high school students who are thinking about what strand to take if they want to be a flight attendant i have talked about the different strands available in the philippines and if you want to be a flight attendant how can you connect that to the flight attendant job so that's coming up next monday 9 a.m on this channel and uh, we'll see you there and also my candles will see you there <laughs> all right so by the way, my new shop is going to be called Paglao. It is a Visayan word for hope. So it's definitely on brand. It's definitely me because I feel like I would like to give hope for people out there because I know how it felt to be hopeless. So pretty things like this and, and this. It's so pretty, right? So I'm going to be doing this in another instagram page but when i launch guys i hope that you support me in my small business and i am going to release like i said a special candle just for you guys who are following me on this channel oh i actually have paris and airplanes but it's on the other bus and if you are serious about your flight attendant application what i would recommend you to watch next is my video last beginning of august wherein i have roasted the different airlines the pros and cons of working for them in the point of view of a cabin crew guys and you seldom see these informations online so i do hope that you check out that video to figure out which is the best airline company to work for for your personality for your goals and you know uh just in general which company is good to work for so if you are a vlogger like me or if you are more of a quiet type of person what type of airline will fit you so i have roasted or i have talked about the pros and cons of working to qatar emirates and etihad and in the local scene that spal 5j and cebu pacific and air asia so go ahead and check out that video it's going to be here on the screen right now and i will see you there bye here we go come with me there's a